and you've been in video games. And and your favorite game, and you win. I would have to say the Warriors video game. That was a game based on a movie. Have you ever seen that movie, Teddy? Uh, no, I've, I've only seen it now. Yeah, it's uh, it's a little. You could probably watch it. It's a little violent. It's about gangs. Uh, and it's about this gang called the Warriors. And they go to a meeting of all of the gangs in the Bronx, which is a place far away, way, way far up in New York City, way north of New York City. And uh, they go to the Bronx and there's a huge meeting of all the gangs. And this guy wants to come. This guy wants to band them together. He wants to be the leader of all the gangs in New York City. And that guy gets killed and they frame the warriors. So all of the gangs in New York City are chasing the warriors. The warriors are trying to make their way back to their turf. And it's a it's a it's an exciting movie. It's a crazy. They have the, the gangs. They have a, a gang called the Baseball Furies. And they dress up and they carry baseball bats and they wear baseball uniforms and have painted faces. Um, yeah, it's a really, it was kind of, it's, it's kind of like um, an old movie called Clockwork Orange in a lot of ways, only not quite as violent, but it's, it's a really intense movie. And at the end, there's a villain, they have a big fight with the villain. I'm not going to tell you how it turns out, but the villain taunts them. And the famous line from the movie that he does is he goes, Warriors come out to play. Yay. And I got to be that guy. And that was something since since I was a kid, we used to imitate that guy. I'm probably not even doing the voice right, but we used to do that all the time. And the, the fact that I got to be that guy in the video game made me very, very happy. And that was that was that was a lot of fun because they they uh, they actually filmed me while they were recording so that they could make they could take my lips and put them on the character to make the lips to make the lip movement perfect. And that was that was so it was it was almost like, oh, my voice is in there and my lips, too. <laughs> but that was that was probably my favorite my favorite video game that I ever got to play, hoping they'll uh that was a, I think that was an Xbox One game. That's how old I am. <laughs> and because you mentioned that you've been anime stuff, and I did first do traditional anime, uh, animation or or anime, or like well, dubbing. I mean, oh well, as as a performer, I prefer to do traditional animation because. And not traditional, but I like to do original animation because we're creating, really, really creating the character, and they're drawing, they're animating to our voice, which really makes me feel more like, uh, like I'm, like I'm part of the character. Um, I, it's, I love doing, and I love doing anime. I love dubbing. That's a different kind of fun. Like I said, that's kind of like a video game because you got to get the, the timing right. Uh, and I honestly think that as a gamer, that helped me a lot doing doing uh, anime, doing dubbing, because you have to, your timing has to be right. You have to. There's a little. I don't know if you if you've heard how it works, but they'll when they show you the video, you'll hear a little beep beep beep, and then you have to go. So you have to you have to have your your timing has to be spot on. Otherwise, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to do another take and nobody has time for that but uh it's it's um it's 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 fun doing both i, I if i had to pick one i would prefer to do original animation that was you know being done to my voice specifically uh but i like you said big fan of of japanese animation in general i was collecting anime Way back in uh, 1989, when I worked at uh, Forbidden Planet, so I love that stuff. Do you prefer to do uh, TV shows or movies? Well, uh, I'm happy to do either one. The, I haven't been in that many movies outside of Pokemon movies, um, but it's. Uh, it's really, I, it really depends on the role. I'm, uh, you know, 
I, I'm happy. I love doing, I love movies. I would love to be in more movies. Uh, I think uh, there, you know, there, there's the, the nice thing about, uh, about TV shows is if you're, if you're a recurring character, they bring you back. So it can be like Pokemon was a regular, semi-regular job for years. Um, with a movie, they call you in once or twice and then you're done. So there's there's good there's upshots and downsides to to both. And, and do you prefer do a live action or or animation? For me, I I'm not very I am. Uh, you know the saying, uh, children should be seen more often than heard. I'm the opposite. I am heard more often than I am seen. I would love to be in, uh, to be on on camera. I would love to do more work like that. I've only really, there's one film that I shot about 22 years ago, a horror film called A Chronicle of Corpses. Uh, it'd be hard to find, but it's out there. And um, that's that's something I had tremendous i had i had so much fun doing i loved doing that and yeah sure i'm an actor i i love performing so um i i will say this though there's there's a big difference between voice acting and film acting and stage acting and then what i do most of the time which is audiobook narration so there's there's different levels of of energy and focus required for all those different things. I would the hardest of all of those things is working on is performing on stage. The most fun of all those things is performing on stage. That's what I think. And as, as a cold classic talk question, do you have a favorite turtle? Oh. Well, I'd have to say Mikey. I mean, I, I Mikey because because of Mikey's attitude, because Mikey's Mikey's the one. I, because I identify with Mikey. If I were a turtle, I would be Mikey, and also because he was voiced by my friend Wayne Grayson, whom I love, and he was he made that. He made that job, which was already a fun thing to do. He made it even more fun to do. So, I whenever I whenever I see Mikey, I'm always I always go, oh yeah. So I have a, a special, a fun, a soft spot in my heart for for nunchucks. And um, we'll get into um, like some more nerdy questions. Um, and and which one do you prefer more, Marvel or DC? Okay, that's a very good question. You asked the right person. As you can see. I've been wearing a Superman shirt. I've got Captain America's shield and Thor's hammer behind me. I got the Doom Patrol. I mean, you know, I've got, I've got, I, I like them both. However, movies, Marvel, hands down. I love the Justice League. I love the Justice League. You should see my basement. I have a giant Crisis on Infinite Earths poster on the wall. I have, yeah, I have all the Alex Ross Justice League posters on the wall in my basement in the house. I love the Justice League. I saw Zack Snyder's movie. And I understand people say he has a vision. I do not see his vision. His vision is clouded. His vision is myopic. He does not know who Bruce is. He does not know who Clark is. He does not know who Diana is. He does not know who Barry is. And... I'm assuming he doesn't know who Hal or John is either because, well, never mind. But that those I, the Justice League is very important to me. When it comes to comic books, DC all the way. I love DC comics. I love Marvel comics. But DC is, that you know, here's the way I look at it. And I don't know if you know these things, but you know about Crisis on Infinite Earths? Uh, yes. Okay, do you know what they what Marvel did at the same time as Crisis on Infinite Earths? Uh, no, not really. Secret Wars. Oh. 
Crisis on Infinite Earths was an amazing, awesome, mind-blowing, incredibly well-written and beautifully drawn 12-issue series that they had been planning for years to clean up the universe because they had Earth 1 and Earth 2 and Earth Prime and uh, there's just too many Earths. So they said they're going to make it all one universe. Marvel got wind of this and they went, oh, uh, we need to do a big crossover event with all the superheroes. Let's say there's a big guy who's the Beyonder and he's more powerful than anybody and he takes everybody to another planet and they have a big battle. Really? That's what you're going with? That to me, so that was the, that was like, wow, DC, they cleaned up house with the most amazing, epic, mind-blowing story that, that not only took the whole multiverse and made it one universe, but it, it, present, it showed the world who the greatest hero ever the greatest hero in all the universes. Do you know who that was? Uh, Barry Allen. Oh, yeah. The original Flash. He gave his life. He gave his life to save the multiverse. That's the greatest sacrifice. The greatest. He saved not just the. He saved all the universes. He saved everybody. And he gave his life for that. To me. The Flash is the greatest hero ever. And the Secret Wars was like, okay, Spider-Man got a new suit. When it comes to the comics, Marvel has dropped the ball too many times. But when it comes to the movies, I honestly, I haven't, I'm trying to think of a good, besides Wonder Woman, I'd say Wonder Woman is the best DC movie. And it's a good movie, but it's not even good as, I don't think it's as good as the worst Marvel movie. And yeah. I can't even, I couldn't imagine. I mean, worst Marvel movie, maybe Iron Man 2, maybe, maybe 2 could be. And that's still a great movie. Yeah, that's a good, you asked, you asked the right person that question, Teddy. You asked the right person that question because... That is something I feel very strongly about. And, and you, you love all this stuff. So this is, this is our modern mythology. Back, you know, thousands of years ago, the Greeks and the Romans, they followed different gods who were all different aspects of humanity. And they, you know, some worshipped Athena, some worshipped Poseidon. So, well, whatever. There were, there were different gods. They all had to end. Everybody had their own their own you know their own favorite and and to this you know now when i was a kid when i worked in a comic book store every thursday people would come like they would come to a temple on on sunday to worship but they would come on thursday to buy the new comics and and every and we would all we knew we all watched we all read these comics and we could all talk about these things this is important and and they're they're stories that we share they're stories that are that are very important to us so it makes me and makes me so happy to be a part of these things to uh, and and to share stuff with people like you who enjoy it. This is this is uh, comic books and science fiction and fantasy uh, and like I said modern mythology are my that's my love. Here's the thing. You'll you'll appreciate this. I always tell my son that Batman is Hercules. Hercules was a guy right? He was just a human. He did all these amazing things. But at, at the end of his life, the gods on Olympus, they said, you know what? You're one of us. You come live up here with us. And he became a god at the end of his life. And that's exactly who Batman is. He's a guy. He's just a human. But a Kryptonian, an Amazon, a vessel of the Speed Force, a Martian, and a Green Lantern said, yeah, you're one of us. That's awesome. So, yeah, that's why I love DC. Um, well, that's all the questions I've got. Um, thank you so much for doing this. This, this is really a member day. Oh, thank you. It really, it, you know what? You made my day, and I really appreciate that, Teddy. It's great to meet you. Yeah, well, the voice is just my much altered. <laughs> oh, thank you. Take well, care now. Yeah, well, thank you so much. Uh, would, and was, was there anything you'd like to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to promote? Um, 
if if anybody wants to take a look at my Twitch channel, I'm uh, I'm on Twitch. My my the name that I use everywhere on Instagram and uh, I think I'm on YouTube as and Twitch as Mr. Coffee, which is spelled M R K A W F Y, Mr. Coffee. Uh, and uh, yeah, look for me on Twitch. Uh, I am, uh, like I said, I'm a gamer. I play Fortnite a lot. My son got me into that last year. And uh, I also play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. So I'm hoping to start streaming Dungeons and Dragons games, uh, which I'll be Dungeon Master of. So uh, I hope you come check me out on Twitch. And thank you so much. <laughs>